Hello everyone, it's Dr. Murphy here again bringing you another episode of our new transplant series, Banff and Beyond. We will continue our discussion on T-cell media rejection with this case. The patient is a 72-year-old male who presents with increased creatinine one and a half years after deceased donor renal transplant. Of note, the patient did report splitting medications and intermittent use of his immunosuppressive medications. As we look here at this low-power image, we can already see we have lots of blue throughout this piece of cortex consistent with interstitial inflammation. Additionally, we have significant tubular injury that we can see as well, characterized by epithelial simplification in areas of ectasia. In the biopsy specifically through this area, we also see significant interstitial edema, all from this low-power view. So as we move into the next image, we can see these tubules at a higher power, all of which show tubulitis, and if we count, here we have one, two, three, four, five, six lymphocytes within the tubule consistent with moderate tubulitis, or a T2. Moving on to the next image, if we focus on the interstitial infiltrate, we can see that it is predominantly lymphoplasmocytic. However, there are occasional eosinophils scattered around, although it was not considered a significant component of the interstitial infiltrate. We know we are in good portion of unscarred cortex, at least in this area here, as we can see a component of interstitial edema, which means that while there is injury in edema, there has not been a lot of fibrosis laid down at this time. This biopsy demonstrates moderate interstitial inflammation, about 30 to 40 percent of the entirety of the unscarred cortex, consistent with an I2, and as we saw earlier, demonstrated moderate tubulitis. These two findings, put together in the absence of SV40 staining or positive BK titers, are compatible with acute T cell media rejection, BAMF grade 1A. Thank you so much, and see you guys next time.